Hey folks, I ran into a weird thing where I've got an error boundary and it's maintaining some state for the error. And so the way that I've got this set up is I type into this input for the username. And if that username is something wrong, um, then we're gonna render this bomb component, which just throws an error just to test the error boundary functionality here. So my question is, how do we reset the state of the error boundary in a way that doesn't trigger a remount of all of the children on every change of this username input? So let me show you what I mean. So if I type in fail right here, then I get the bomb gets rendered, it goes kaboom, my error boundary fallback component gets rendered and it says, uh, hey, something went wrong, here's the error. And um, here we have this mount logger that's just round, um, rendering or, or logging when it's mounted and unmounted. And yeah, so that like, this is expected. This is what I would expect it to do. But then recovery is a challenge here. So if I wanted to recover, even if I had like a try again button or, or something, um, there's not any way for me to recover with what I've got here. So if I uh, type in something else, we can see that things are all good because we no longer have the username as fail. But um, this stuff hasn't been remounted. You'll notice there's no mounted on our mount logger. And so, uh, and it's not saying type fail. We're still getting our error uh, fallback rendered here. And so how do I reset this? Well, normally when you wanna reset the internal state of a component, then you can say the key and you can assign it to something that'll change. And so in our case, when we change the username, then um, we want this to the error boundary to you know to reset uh, and so we'll say username here but now every single keystroke that I type in here unmounts and remounts all these components so it works now like I'm, I'm able to get rid of the error boundary and render its children again and so that's good but now I'm remounting and un like, like on every single key press uh, because the, the key is gonna change between every render. And so the next logical step is, okay, well, let's just make it so that when um, we only change the key when there's actually been an error, but how do you know that? How do you know that there's been an error? And I can think of a couple different things. We could use a ref and, and all kinds of weird stuff like that. I don't wanna do weird stuff. I, I wanna do something that makes a lot of sense. And so that's why I'm asking you all to see what you think about this. What would you do in this situation? What do you do in your production apps uh, so that you don't have the remounting issue that I have here but you do get to recover from when an error boundary catches and sets its state. So yeah, how do you reset the state of an error boundary? Um, and, and I want more than just like a click here to try again and it triggers a re-render without an error uh, because that would not be awesome either because then I'd have to first off uh, change things to be all good again and then I would have to click on the try again button which is not what I want either. So what do you do? Like, I, I'm not just asking, like ideas are great, but what do you do? Do you do anything? Um, I'm curious. Actually, I just came up with an idea and I wanna just add this to the end of the video here. So what I decided to add here is this componented update. And so I don't have the key anymore, That's that's gone. And what the error boundary itself does now is if we're re-rendering, then we'll determine whether the previous state wasn't like if we had an error and if um, that error is the same as the current state. So if it's unchanged, we're, we're triggering a re-render and we have, or, or our, our parent is re-rendering us and we have an error state, let's just trigger a re-render with no error state and um, try to render the children again. Uh, so like presumably if the parent is re-rendering, then maybe something has changed to allow us to actually um, render or something that's not going to explode. And that's what we see uh, in this little simple example. So if I say fail, I get my kaboom. If I backspace, then I get remounted again, but I'm not getting remounted on every single keystroke anymore, which is exactly what I want. So this is behaving the way I want, but I'm curious to see whether anybody does anything different. So yeah.